what's up you guys good morning and welcome back to my channel this is a very exciting vlog because we have rented out a van i'll show you more of it when we're not driving and it's stuff with shit but we have a bed and all this cool stuff in it and we are going to yosemite it's mine and matt's both first time going to yosemite right now we are at a gas station it's 6 15 in the morning and we are getting ice for our cooler so yeah come along with us so we are at our second gas station stop no no um and we are getting gas i am so tired i slept so bad last night um we are four hours away technically we're three hours from yosemite but yosemite it was very big and long so at the from the entrance of yosemite it's still gonna take us about like an hour to get to our campsite i'm so tired i'm gonna go take a poop oh okay Can I have my phone? sure that's real life oh so this will probably be the last like gas station update i give you guys before we get to yosemite we are at a 76 filling up by the way, who was gonna tell me that Love's gas stations were nice as fuck on the inside? I feel like I've actually heard that before, but wow, they're really nice. Anyways, we are just getting gas. Matt is in there getting a lottery ticket. And we are, let's see, two hours and 23 minutes away from our campsite. Probably about an hour and a half away from like Yosemite itself. <gasps> oh my God. This milk is on the way to Yosemite and we were talking about how good it was and they sell it here. Ah! I love Matt. I love my boyfriend. That's pretty cool. Look at all the poor little pine trees from the fire. They're, so, they're all like that and up there too. officially in Yosemite and okay all the videos that I watched on Yosemite by the way were like get there super early because the line that we just went through is super long they're like if you're not there by 6 a.m. you'll be waiting an hour um there were no cars we were the first we drove straight up to the lady we were the only car <laughs> and I was trying to pull out my reservation number and she was like oh um yeah we stopped checking those around september 30th um we don't care and i was like okay sir <laughs> so yes now we're in and we still have all these trees are burnt so so we're literally in but we still have an hour until we get to our campsite this is so pretty This is our campsite. Our campsite is number seven. Literally like checked in right there and then we're right here. I mean, that's our view. And that's our van, slaying or what? Right here. Oh, it's only 2.17, but I feel like the sun sets pretty early here. Like it's already behind that mountain. What is this quality? Um, so we're just gonna hang out at our campsite today and like probably get an earlier start tomorrow because we're tired, but there's a very beautiful mountain right there. I don't know about this site though because the people are literally right there. The other people. And the other people will be like right there. Look, this is the coyote we saw earlier. Well, I didn't tell you guys, but we did see this earlier. 
The dog's like, I want it. We've already seen it twice now. Hello guys, welcome to our meth lab. Yay! <laughs> um, I don't think I showed you guys the inside of it yet, but this is it. That is the ceiling. We're in a micro van. Oh, yes. Oh. Yep. Yep. Yep, my phone's charging. It's kind of serving. There's a sink, a mirror. Although, it doesn't matter that there's a sink because I left um, our toothbrushes and everything at home. <laughs> Slay. And our shampoo and our conditioner, if we wanted to do that. Yes. Good morning. I made iced coffee. It is like 8.30 probably right now. I slept so good. Like I slept from like 12 to 4, woke up for like 30 minutes, then went back to bed till 8. That's unheard of for camping for me. Like usually I'm waking up like 80 million fucking times throughout the night. But yes, most people in the campsite have not left yet, which is a good sign for us, even though it's... 8.30, like, what? Um, but yeah, I'm drinking iced coffee. I think I already said that. And we're gonna go get our day started. We are at the village store. Um, We are now doing the lower Yosemite Falls hike, which obviously there were, will not be a waterfall because it is the end of October. <laughs> But we're just doing this quick little one because it's only like one mile, pretty much. And then we're... There it is. What? Right ahead of you. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's the waterfall. <laughs> and then we're going to go back to our campsite and eat breakfast. And then we're going to do Upper Yosemite Falls. Which is... Uh, Mark does a hard trail. Mm. This is a bunch of rocks. There's a little bit of water. Can you even see my phone screen? Jesus. Well, this is our hike, you guys. We're doing Upper Yosemite Falls. It's apparently hard. Um, it says, it takes an average of five hours to complete and it's 7.6 miles, so yikes. I'm very excited. This is gonna be really fun. This is not for the week, you guys. This is so hard. I was not expecting it to be so hard, but it's literally just... It's just straight down. Up rocks, switchbacks the whole way. I'm feeling unwell. This is a mile up. Hey guys, we're about, uh, some man told me I'm about over halfway there. He said we're two thirds of the way there. And we've walked down a lot of hills. This is our first view of the falls. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> it's so beautiful in October. That's what I've heard. And now we've been walking downhill for a while and we're going to walk back up, up a very aggressive hill. So, so let's go. So these aggressive rocks, yeah. We are getting close, according to the sign. 
You guys, honestly, <laughs> I was not prepared for this. If I, let's say I were to watch a full hike of this trail on YouTube, I'd be like, no, never. But we're getting there. I'm feeling very hungry and my legs are really sore <laughs> and I'm really hungry. I should have packed more food, but <laughs> my steps on this hike, 16,000, but really close. And this hike is kind of like, once you get past the first rock, I forget what it's called, the rock view, <laughs> I don't fucking know. Um, that's about a mile up. You just keep telling yourself like, oh, it's not worth going back down. So, yeah, we'll talk after. We made it. This is where we're sitting. I have eaten two apple sauces, <coughs> mine and Matt's. He gave me his beef jerky. Okay, there's a man coming up. And then also, I have a protein bar. And also, I have this. And <laughs> it tastes damn good. You're happy I brought that out. Mm -hmm. mm. When I walked back, I was like, wait, a beer will be great at the top. Guys, we found deer. Look at them! I went to kiss one. Look at this, this little white butt. This is a good um, reward after fin finishing that stupid hike. So if you attempt this trail and you're at the first part and you think to yourself, God damn, like I am fucking exhausted. I, I, it's, it's hard because I don't want to discourage people from doing it because like, the fuck? But like, I'm just, I, I, it was really fucking hard, and obviously this time of the year, there's no waterfall. The views are great, but there is no waterfall. So I guess just do it at your own risk, and if I had to give you guys any tips after we did it, bring water, lots of it. Bring a whole ass lunch for yourself when you get up there. So is the woman ready to eat? Yes. So like, a sandwich, a granola bar, and like fruit. Like it was, hello. hello. Oh, also we brought, Matt brought us beers and we drank them at the top. We didn't have sandwiches though. I know, I was telling them they should bring sandwiches. Oh. We, no, we I didn't. we had sandwiches. Um, I like, no, I wanted sandwich. because we weren't prepared for it. That's what I'm saying. Because all we brought was a little bit of beef jerky, a granola bar for the, each of us, and I ate two apple sauces and a beer. So <laughs> just bring more than it in. Just know that you're hiking. So it's about, okay, on the way up, it's literally, an, uh, you're going a mile per hour. Each mile is gonna take you an hour to do. That's why it takes you three hours to get up and three hours to get back down. And going back down is just as draining, honestly, okay, not just as draining, but it's really draining because you're, you're you know, you know when you're walking up the steps, you just gotta walk back down though. So do it at your own risk. But now we're gonna eat a really good dinner steak, corn, mushroom, veggie, onion, bell pepper, mumbo jumbo, and we're gonna have more beers, so, yeah. 10 seconds to fill it on the other one. It literally comes out so hard you can barely hold it. Okay, wait, don't talk, I'm doing it, I'm doing ASMR. What is the ASMR? Just the quietness. So we came to the little El Capitan Trail, and I'm not really quite sure you'll ever be able to see it on my camera, but there are people climbing it. Wait, my camera zooms pretty good. Where are they? He, he just waved. You see him? He got to a ledge. Oh, yeah. It's on a ledge right now, standing on I think it. I'm recording him, honestly. Yeah. You got him. They're right there. This is what 
they call the Merced River. There is El Capitan again. And then there's... Bridal Veil Falls. I can't even see it. The biggest... where is it? The biggest waterfall we've seen yet. So that was the end of our trip. Um, that I'm pretty sure that was yeah that was our last full day there. But I just want to say that it was so much fun. We loved it so much. It's our favorite camping trip we've ever been on. Obviously, it's Yosemite, um, and we already have booked another trip. I won't say when because like stalkers, but we have already booked our next trip. So. I highly recommend if it's something that's easy for you guys to do, you should do it. And also, I want to come back and give an updated an updated opinion on the Upper Yosemite Falls Trail. Um, I was in such a bad mood after, and I hated that trail for like two days. And I actually went on a huge rant in this video. Okay, my dog's moving. In this video originally telling you that no one should do it. And looking back, I have changed. <laughs> you guys don't, wouldn't even believe how <laughs> angry I was after this trail for days because it was so hard. But looking back on a clear mind, I will say a couple things. The tips I gave you, you absolutely should follow. Those don't change. But, Paris, stop moving. Stop. But. I actually really do believe pretty much anyone can do it. It's hard. It's fucking hard. But the average person can do it. It's fucking hard, but the average person can do it. Because if I could do it, you could do it. There were really old people. There were really, like, people that just don't look like they'd be able to do it. There was someone holding a fucking newborn baby going up. There were little children going all the way to the top. So anyone can do it. It's fucking hard, though. It probably would have been more worth it had there been a waterfall. Um, but that was like the first hike I've ever done that I would even consider a hike that was super crazy like that. And honestly, like it it sucked in the moment, but it it's very rewarding afterwards, I will say. Like very rewarding. And like now I can say that I did the Upper Yosemite Fall Trail. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.